news. New evacuations right now within the last hour in Placer and El Dorado counties. It's the Mosquito Fire. This is Placer County. Our last update now had nearly 1,000 acres burned. It's expected to grow as the excess of heat is likely going to increase the spread of fire. Firefighters are trying to contain this, as you can well imagine, and see in very steep terrain. The fire started near the Oxbow Reservoir in the Tahoe National Forest. There are new mandatory evacuation orders now in El Dorado County. ABC 10's Devin Truby is at the evacuation center in Auburn. Devin, you've been there all morning. You started to smell the smoke and see it quite a distance away from Auburn. Absolutely. Well, we could smell the smoke five miles before we even got to Auburn and now Cal Fire warning all Placer County residents that when you wake up this morning, you will see drifting smoke and that's what we see out here right now as well. We're at Auburn in the evacuation center. There's about a dozen people inside currently. Another evacuation center has been open at the cool community church for those in El Dorado Hillside because this fire is split in both counties. Now it's a total of 922 acres, 0% contain about 100 acres are now over on the El Dorado Hillside. Cal Fire is picking that part up, but the predominant firefighting force here is the U.S. Forest Service over on the Placer County side. So let's go ahead and talk about this area. We were just up here yesterday in Forest Hill for the Hill Fire. Very steep terrain, unfortunately, and unfortunately for our firefighters, overnight temperatures were only 80 degrees, so not a lot of relief. Those evacuations that are in place. Volcanoville is mandatory, door to door, knocking to get residents out of their homes. And then we also have Michigan Bluff, Gorman Ranch, and Chicken Hawk as well for evacuations on the Placer County side. The American Red Cross here in Auburn says they're prepared to go over to El Dorado County to help them again at the Cool Community Church Center for those that are evacuating on that side. Placer County Animal Shelter will also take your pets if you're not able to take them with you. But a big concern again, Cal Fire talking about that drifting smoke. And unfortunately, Rob, I'm seeing about mm -hmm. a five to ten mile breeze here as well. A lot of tree movement, so things could get dangerous up here. Yeah, so Devin, thank you for that report and, and also pointing out where the location is. Now, you know, in that area, it's relatively rural, it's sparsely populated, but it does matter for the people that are there. That's why there's an evacuation. And seeing it smelling smoke, okay, so now you know that it's there, but it's data like this from purpleair.com and other uh, agencies. Uh, th this is a network of people's personal air quality sensors. Uh, once you start pushing into the purple zone, that's AQI 200 or higher, that really is and can be a hazard to your health. So we've got places like Grass Valley, very thick smoke, Colfax, definitely Auburn, a little bit in Rockland, a little bit in Lincoln. So folks, it's the lower part of the foothills near 80 and almost approaching 50 where we're seeing the densest smoke. Now, what she was talking about, the wind, it's between five to 10 miles per hour and the direction is important. The fire is actually out uh, a little bit higher up in elevation than some of those communities, but it's going downhill coming from the east to the west. Later on today, we're expecting the winds to shift, so it should take some of that smoke back up the hill, but it just takes it to other communities.